Hey guys, my name is Michael Chin and welcome to episode four of the Live Scalp series. I'll be teaching you how I consistently generate income day trading one single stock. So if you're interested in following along, please be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. So it is Friday, January 31st, 2020, and we are looking at a 2000 tick chart of the S&P 500 futures, which means that each one of these bars represents 2000 transactions. So this chart will move relatively quickly. Now it is around 6.15 a.m. Pacific, which means that it is the U.S. stock pre-market hours. And I usually like to come in at around 5.30 a.m., but today was a little late since, you know, I had a late start this morning and it happens. Now I like to trade for around three hours, at which time I actually have to go to my full-time job. So if you're someone like me who works a normal nine to five job, this is actually a great strategy that we can both benefit from. Now I like to trade purely on the price action, which means that I don't have to bother using any of those fancy indicators because I can actually find small short-term 95% win rate setups with only the price data. So when I come in here in the open, the first thing that I like to do is I like to find the highs and the lows. So I've marked those here with this white line. These are the highs that we've made for the day and the lows that we've made for the day. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the current trend. So based on the bars, you know, you can clearly see that we have made a huge downtrend here. So there is some steep selling and then now we have retraced prices slightly. So the first thing that I think of when I look at this is, OK, you know, we've made a huge down move. And now that we're starting to retrace. Are these the lows for the days? That would be the first question I ask myself. Or is this just a normal bounce that is going to be followed by continued selling in the session today? Okay, so at this point, the markets have opened and it is about 6.40 a.m. And as you can see, prices did not go back up to test the high. They are actually coming down and going to test the lows again. So maybe my theory of the market going to sell off could be true here. But one thing I immediately notice on the price action is that we are having trouble breaking this low here. Every time we come near it, we actually bounce each time. So what I'm actually going to look for here is look for another attempt lower where traders might be rushing in to go short because, you know, you know, they want to get this big move. They think, OK, prices are going to make a huge sell off after this re um, after this bounce. So what we're going to look for here is going to we are going to look for some sort of reversal bar and what a reversal bar is going to look like is it's going to be a big green bar like something like this, something like this that are that will tell us that prices are actually going to move up in the opposite direction. <clears throat> so as we can see here, prices are you know unable to break these lows and actually here we go. So prices make a new low here and a lot of traders are coming in and trying to sell this. So think of yourself if you know if I wanted to short this market, I would probably short this new low here and then I would try and have a stop maybe up here because you know if price is reversed then that means that i'm probably wrong and so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to come in and i'm going to put in my buy stop up here and so i'm going to buy and help those traders exit their positions so you know let's say all the traders that thought were, the market was going to sell off they went short here well they're going to buy right here and i'm coming in and swooping in and picking up their orders and so with that i can actually find a very high win percent trade and get a point scalp out of this so as you can see, I actually got filled on my order right now and one point in the ES is equal to around $50. So as you can see, we are up $150 for the day and then I have a runner, which, um, you know, it's at that point, the runner is just a gift. If it goes up higher, it goes up higher. If it doesn't, then I get out a break even for zero profit. So as you can see from this one trade, we have already made $150, which is great. Now, as you can see, prices make another attempt lower. And what I always like to preach is the two legged move. So I always say that prices like to move in pairs of twos. And so as you can see, prices here made one attempt lower and now they're trying to make a second attempt lower. So this is the second attempt lower. And what's going to happen is a lot of more people are going to sell here because they know this is the better area to sell. But what happens if prices come up and break above this? Well, then again, they're all going to be trapped. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put in my buy order and see if we can catch them. But as you can see, prices start to continue selling off. And at that moment, I'm going to remove my order because, you know, they're actually right. Prices are moving in this two legged move. And, you know, this has a high percent 
win percent chance of happening of actually you know making prices sell off further it doesn't mean i'm actually going to put in a sell order here and trade it you know this isn't the best setup which is actually why i want to trap them but since they are correct i'm just going to remove my order and wait for the next setup Okay, about 20 minutes have passed since our last trade that we took up and around this area and we see the prices have really started to sell off now. But what I'm seeing again is another bottoming pattern. So we're gonna do the same strategy as last time. A lot of traders tried to aggressively short here and I'm coming in and helping them exit their positions because you know they got it wrong. So I'm coming in and buying a buy stop above this bar here that they tried to short. And so now they're gonna start panicking as prices start to reverse and they're gonna try and cover their order. Now, if you look at my order, I'm only going for a one point scalp and that is because one point is usually the amount of room that it takes for all these traders to exit their position as they're panicking remember i'm not actually predicting the trend i'm not saying that prices are going to come up here 32.76 i'm not saying you know this is the bottom and prices are reversing i'm just trying to help these traders exit their positions and move on with their day so we're going to see prices start to you know grind here as traders start to panic it usually these trades aren't going to take too long they'll trade you know around 10 to 20 seconds you know, it doesn't take that long for a trader to hit the exit order and there we go so we got our one point scalp on three contracts we are now two zero for the day which is pretty awesome and we have this runner going up if you've ever wondered what this blue line is this is a 21 ema and i use it basically to see where prices are so if we're below the 21 ema you know it says we are pretty bearish we are selling off and if we are above the 28 21 EMA, then prices are bullish and we are going up. And so at this point, you're going to see that I'm going to try and redraw my trend line. Uh, we violated the last one. We broke through it. So it's no longer a valid trend line. And as you can see, we broke through this one too. So it's not really a valid trend line either. Now, as far as management on this runner, I'm going to see if I can get as many points as I can out of it. But at the same time, I want to retain as much money as I can because you know each point that I make is money in my wallet that I want to keep so you know prices have been pretty bearish at this time at any moment you know prices could easily just reverse so I have to be careful and watch out for that I've skipped forward here a few seconds and as you can see our runner is still intact and remember last time when I said about the two-legged move of traders trying to get these prices back lower well we're seeing that again so prices are making this two-legged move and a lot of the smart traders are coming in to try and sell this but what they don't realize is that this could trap them again this isn't the best setup to go short here and so what I'm going to do like last time is I'm going to put my buy stop order right above this bar here and see that if I can catch their stop loss orders now last time it didn't work but hopefully this time it will work so let's see how the prices act here we can see that they are slowly struggling now we have a pretty big bullish reversal bar and there we go we are filled into our order and we will see if prices can move up higher here and get this one point scalp as traders start to panic now I do have my stop loss set right below this bar just like any other trader would have it and that's just because you know if prices do start to reverse I'm wrong it, it wasn't supposed to happen and I made a mistake but these setups are 95% win rates or even 100% win rates depending on how you like to look at it so it's basically a matter of you know if I was reading the price action correctly or incorrectly if, if I get it wrong and I lose on this position then I was reading it incorrectly and that means that I'll have to go back and study and see what was wrong. So we're seeing prices here. We're approaching that one point scalp and you can see that they are aggressively going up. This means that people are only buying here. This means that, you know, people who are think this is a low, they're also buying. But at the same time, all of the people who got trapped here are trying to get out of their positions as soon as possible. Now, at this point, these runners are free money, so I can play them however they want. They're at break even right now, so even where they were to get stopped out, I don't lose any money, I don't gain any money, I just have to pay those extra commission fees. Um, as you can see here, it looks like prices are starting to sell off, which is a little unfortunate. I guess we're not gonna make any additional profit off of these guys, but from these two trades, we have added on, and now we are 4-0 for the day, which I'm really happy about. So as we watch prices start to sell, okay, there we go. So we just got kicked out of our first runner right there. And it looks like our second runner is actually gonna get taken out here as well. So that's unfortunate. But there's nothing you can do, you know, these are gifts. They can do whatever they want. They could pay us off with 50 points or they could just go out break even. 
oh, actually, you know, there might be a chance here. It's starting to show some kind of support bar here. Hopefully prices could continue to go higher. And actually it looks like, nope, looks like it's starting to sell off again. It would have been nice if we broke up, oh, there, there we go. So we got taken out. If we had to break it above that bar, you know, there might have been a chance for us to hopefully turn up, but we are four zero for the day. That is a nice $500 profit so far. Okay, about 20 minutes have passed since our last trade, and now we see that prices are trying to make another low here. So traders are aggressively trying to sell this low, and like all of the other setups I've been taking today, I'm gonna help them exit their position because they are wrong. So they are trapped, wow. And this setup actually went through in like one second. I put it in my buy order, and I got the one point scout within like one second. So that's $150 in one second. I can't be mad about that. And now we are see a huge bullish bar here, which means that not only are these traders covering their position, they're trying to buy because they thought this is the low and i actually have to be a little scared about that because you know that can really trap out a lot of traders you know these traders are trapped to the short side and we helped them exit out of the long side and now that they're coming in on the long side they might get trapped on the long side as well so let's watch prices here i still will keep my runner at break even I could trail it up, but you never know. They could be right and enough buying pressure could come in. We do see a lot of green bullish bars here. You know, each one of these bars is an advancing bar. And when they stack up like this, that's a lot of buying pressure. So let's see if we can hopefully push prices up higher and make this a good runner. And oh, nope, it looks like they're getting trapped. So <clears throat> what you're seeing here is you're seeing, you know, first all of these traders got trapped to the short side. They covered their position. They thought it was the bottom, so they're going to go to the long side. And now they're getting short. Now they're getting trapped to the long side as well. That's not to say that this is a setup that I'll take. I will always take this setup, but this other one, you know, uh, I'm not sure if you could get that one point scalp out of it. So funny enough, you did see traders just get trapped to both sides here. Um, you, know, you could make money off of both sides, but I decided to get the one that I can see clearly as a setup. All right, another 20 minutes have passed. And, you know, this throughout this whole day, you have seen me talk about the two-legged move. You've seen me say how it's a pretty powerful setup, but all day I've just been trading the traps on this. Well, it looks like a actual pullback of a two-legged move is about to happen. So we see that there has been a sharp downtrend here of selling. And so when we get a two-legged pullback back, that's usually a good place to sell. So we see we've made the first leg here. Now we're about to make a second leg here. <clears throat> And you can see that prices are somewhat bearish here and there is like, you know, somewhat of a double top here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first have my sell order here. So if prices were to just slam through, we would get filled, but prices closed right here. So now we can move our sell stop up here and we are about to get filled. And so what I'm looking for here is yet and again, another one point scalp as we see that traders, all of the smart traders who are coming in to sell this are coming in and helping me push prices lower. So we do get filled on our position here. So now we are, I believe, 6-0 for the day, which is awesome. Oh, our runner got kicked out yet again, but we are still up $800 for the day. So it is only 7.34 a.m. So I've been trading for almost about an hour and 20 minutes now, and we've made $800 off of six setups. And I'm only trading three contracts for the scalp. You know, the S&P 500 futures are highly liquid and I can easily scale this up to say 20 contracts. And if I was trading 20 contracts here, we'd be up $6,000. So this is a very lucrative strategy. Now it's been about 30 minutes since our last trade and you see that prices have continued to sell off a lot further. It would have been nice to have a runner to capture all these gains, but you know, this is a lot of trash. You don't want to be trading in all of this choppy trends here. There's not much to gain here, but as you can see, there is another setup here. So what's happening is that I have seen prices start to move up and then all of a sudden they reverse. <clears throat> And then this one tick higher here is where you see a lot of traders thinking that this is the bottom, you know, they're trying to buy the lows here, but unfortunately it breaks through yet again and we were able to capture their stop loss. So we sold right into their stop loss and now they're panicking and trying to cover their positions yet again as prices start to move lower. Now it would be nice for this runner to, you know, hopefully get down here, but you know, it looks like there is a lot of support, especially at the bottom of this trend line. Unfortunately, our runner does get kicked out again, but we are now 7-0 for the day, and that is $950. It is about 8.16 a.m., so I am close to finishing on my session, but we will see if there are some more setups to pick up in the meantime. 
Wow, so prices have really started to sell off here. We have made new lows for the day, and now I'm looking for some sort of bottoming pattern as traders start to aggressively sell this and look for new lows. So what I'm gonna see here is we do see this tick here where a lot of traders are gonna try and sell, and you know exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and come in on the top here and try to buy their stop losses. So why would I do this? Well, look at all of this buying pressure. There's tons of buying pressure. This is six bars in a row where people have come in and bought. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my buy order right here. Hopefully it comes in quick. There we go. So we immediately get filled in on our position and look for that one point scalp as traders start to rush and panic because, you know, they thought this was going to continue on lower. They're like, wow, we made this new low here. Let's try and sell the next low. And they immediately try to sell this next low and it immediately reverses on them and they get wrong. But then at the same time, this is going to get really crazy now because so our runner just got kicked out but as you can see here you know we made this huge selling pressure downwards so what i'm actually looking for is that two-legged pullback and here we go we get that two-legged pullback remember two-legged moves are very strong and in this case this is a great place to get that second move down so what i'm looking for here we get this nice bearish bar and what i'm going to try and do is i'm going to try and sell this because all of the you know somewhat aggressive traders who rushed in and tried to sell this well they got it wrong so now all these smart traders are going to come in on the second time and they're going to sell this and so think about it if you were one of the traders that sold here and now you see prices actually start to go down you'd be like wait what i missed it and you're gonna try and rush in and sell here so i'm already positioned to the short side but now all of these new traders who messed up here well they're going to come in and try and sell this again so they're going to help me push these prices down lower so that is why we always wait for the two-legged move is especially because, you know, if that first instance fails, all of those people are going to join on and they're going to try and sell on the second instance, which means that we're going to have a much higher chance of making our one point scalp. <clears throat> so we see prices coming close to this one point scalp. And, you know, what I'm looking for is hopefully that prices could come down and we could make another low here. Right. All of these people here, they are, you know, kind of panicking in their seats it's like oh my god i'm gonna miss this move why did i sell here why did i get it wrong and then they're like why did i cover my position here if it's just gonna go straight down you know there's probably a lot of emotions going through them and that's one thing that you can't do as a trader as a trader you have to stay emotionally stable oh man our runner got hit again you know see i i can i can have a little fun with our runners just because i know that they are break even there's no money to be lost there and you know it's something that you can sort of enjoy, right? I have to find something to kind of laugh about while I'm trading. But now we are, I think we're eight zero for the day. I completely forgot where that number is at this point, but we are up $1,250 and that's crazy. It's about 8.30 a.m. But, you know, who knows? Prices have really been moving a lot. So sometimes I like to stay on the computer for a little longer. So you will see me trade for a couple more minutes. And taking that time to trade just a little bit longer is paying off here. So now we see that prices have moved down and we see yet another pullback and I'm going to sell that pullback. So we are going to sell right below this bar here and all of these smart traders are going to come in and try and sell this. And as you can also see, there are some trap traders to the long side. So you know how there are two legged moves. Well, there is a two legged move in the down position here. For the sell-off but you can also see that there's a two-legged move in the up position so that means that some traders thought that you know hopefully this is going to be an area where you know we made this move up here and we can pull back and then we could go up higher well no they got it wrong yet again so not only are we trapping some people here but we are also getting some smart sellers who know that this is a pullback to the short side and so they are going to come in and short this as well so it's a double whammy that's coming in here and helping us move prices down lower so hopefully this one can actually come down and break the new lows we are watching our runner here and we will see how far it will go hopefully it'll go down further you know we have not been getting the best luck with our runners these days i don't even think we've made like a single point off of oh no i think maybe at the beginning we did get a few points off our runners but this one's actually shaping up to look a lot better than the other ones and prices have now really started to congest here. And what I am thinking is, you know, we could break through this and we could just plumb it down. So that would be awesome for our, our runner here. So let's see how prices react to all this congestion. Oh my God, so now they're starting to reverse. 
and what's happening is all of the traders who you know were aggressively shorting here thinking oh my god you know this is this is it this is where prices are going to continue to go down lower they are getting hammered here so what's going to happen is i'm again going to be looking for some kind of trap here to see if there is an instance where a lot of traders are going to go short and i can help them ease out of their positions so what I'm going to look for, like all of the other traps, especially, you know, something like this is I'm going to look for that one tick lower. So let's see if prices can hopefully tick down one point lower here. Oh, there we go. So we do get that. Oh, we actually get two ticks lower. So they aggressively came in. If you saw in this one, there was two ticks going down and it went quickly and, and immediately reversed. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get my buy order in right above this area. There we go. So all these people that sold here have their stop losses right here. And now they're going to quickly shuffle out of their positions because they know they are wrong. They saw this move completely reverse on them and now they are panicking to get out. So we are going to get that one point scalp here. And as you can see, the one point scalp does come in right at around the trend line of resistance. So, you know, this is pretty favorable for me You know, as I can as I look at it, I can just see that, you know, we have the ability to get out before this resistance would turn prices back down. Now, actually, let me remove this drawing here. You can see that there was a second attempt lower, and that is that two-legged move that I always like to talk about. So now prices tried to go down twice, and these some of these smart traders tried to come in and sell here, thinking that you know this second attempt lower, this is going to be it. This is where we're going to make all the money. So they come in and short here, and yet again they're wrong. So I'm coming in again on top, and I'm going to help them buy out of the order. So now we have two trades going at the same time and here we go prices are really starting to heat up so this is what's happening with all of these trap traders they are panicking they're shuffling their positions wrong you know they made the incorrect move the first time well they made the incorrect incorrect move the second time and so now they're really in pain so now i put on the two trades here and i don't mind putting on the two trades if you know if this first trade is going to work then i will put on the trade and if the second trade is going to work then i don't mind adding on to this position I don't mind having, you know, two, three, I wouldn't mind having like 50 trades going on if I knew without a doubt that all of them were going to work. Now, I don't think we'd ever get up to, God, my runner always keeps getting kicked out here. I don't, you know, but what I was saying is I don't think we would ever get up to the point where there'd be 50 trades. I think at the most, you know, I've only had like two to three trades on at the same time because at that point, you know, if you, if you're somehow getting more trades and they're not getting that one point scalp, then prices are getting a little ridiculous at that point. Okay, so there we go. So now we are testing this resistance of the trend line. I'm going to move up my runner here just so I can hopefully keep some of my profits because you know what's going to happen at these trend line resistance is we are going to you know, probably plummet back down. Oh, there we go. So we got kicked out of our runner. And at this point, it's about 8.36 a.m. So at this point, I would like to call it a day. But we are up $1,700. So, you know, usually I only go for like three trades a day. And at three trades a day, I can make up to $450. Or if I go for four trades, you know, then I can make $600, which is a great consistent income for me, especially with someone with a full-time job. Because you know what, it's 8.36 a.m. It's time to make breakfast, it's time to go to work. And I don't mind taking this 450 every single day, but dang, today was a $1,700 day, which is crazy. I am ecstatic and I hope I can continue doing this on my journey. And I can hope I can keep showing you guys all of these trades because I hope it's exciting for you guys and I hope you guys can learn something off of me. All right, and that's the end of this day trading video. I hope you guys learned a lot. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact me or comment below and I'll be happy to help. And remember, this is a series, so I will be posting as often as I can. So if you're interested in learning more about day trading, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. But remember, I do work a full-time job, so these videos are going to come up as time permits for me. Sometimes I have to work late and I won't be able to make the video. And as for that, I will see you guys at the next video. Happy trading.